After months and months spent holed up in the one place he still feels safe, New York City's Hit Factory recording studio, Michael Jackson has shown his face. Well, at least part of it. One shot, just one shot. The doctor's getup might be appropriate because Michael is preparing to deliver his baby. No, not an offspring created with wife Lisa Marie, but his new album. And like all things done by Michael Jackson, this project has been kept secret until now. At this point in his life and his career, Michael needs his, he needs his biggest hit yet. And this album, History, people are saying has, is going to produce his best stuff ever to date. and it's called D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Uh, and Michael slammed down the phone, according to my sources, and said that the marriage is over. What's going on between Michael and Lisa Marie? Presley announced they'd gotten married. Many said it wouldn't last. Well, as Diane Diamond reports, those predictions may soon come true. It's just one strange twist after another, Terry, and now the word from the Jackson camp is Splitsville. Hard copy has learned the most explosive marriage of the decade may soon be history. Just think, nobody thought this would last. From the very beginning, many doubted that the Jackson Presley marriage would indeed last. Now, sources tell Hard Copy the honeymoon is over, and so may be the marriage. They say it ended with a bang. What happened was Michael uh, was in New York and Lisa Marie was in, in Los Angeles and in a long distance phone conversation, Michael made it clear that he wanted her to come back to New York and live in New York. So they have become geographically undesirable to each other. And some heated words were exchanged uh, and Michael slammed down the phone, according to my sources, and said that the marriage is over. Randy Terraborelli, Jackson's official biographer, says Michael was shaken up not only by last year's molestation allegations, but by the city's devastating earthquake. And now he wants to sell Neverland and never return to Los Angeles. Re Michael told me very specifically and very uh, argumentatively after the marriage that he loves Lisa Marie. When last we left them, the marriage of the world's oddest couple was on the rocks. After a tumultuous six months and a final fight over the phone, lawyers for the King of Pop were reported to be busy drawing up annulment papers. But now, with the holiday season upon us, there seems to be reconciliation in the air, and with it may come a baby Jackson. You know, it must be tough being the most watched newlyweds in the world. Add to the stress and strain of a new marriage the fact that Lisa Marie wants California to be the place she raises her two children. But Michael, scared to death of earthquakes, supposedly never wanted to go back to California. He stayed on the road lately trying to finish up a new album. Jackson biographer Randy Terraborelli says the couple hasn't seen each other in about six weeks. They have not learned to compromise. They've never had any reason to compromise prior to this relationship. And now they really have to compromise because they're in a situation that involves children and involves uh, two major celebrities trying to figure out a way to stay married. So just how did the quirky couple decide to give it another chance? Well, Tara Borelli says it started with an audio tape Michael recently sent to his bride. Last weekend, Michael sent Lisa Maria tape Federal Express from Chicago to Los Angeles. And when she played it, it was Michael singing the song, I'll Be Home for Christmas. And so apparently he will be. But then the next line in that song is, but only in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Tara Borelli says when Michael comes back, the family will not be spending time at the sprawling Neverland Ranch. Instead, they'll get together at Lisa's new home in Hidden Hills, California. And yes, even Grandma Priscilla is expected. Grandma Priscilla uh, and, and Michael don't seem to get along at, at this point. And as in most families across America, the mother, 
the mothers-in-law and the sons-in-law try to bury the hatchet and hopefully not on each other's backs at Christmas time. How does a lapsed Jehovah's Witness and an active Scientologist celebrate a religious holiday like that? Very carefully, I would imagine. <laughs> They're using the holiday season as a way to bring the family together. Not because Michael and Lisa Marie actually believe in the celebration of Christmas, but they believe in the spirit of Christmas. And what would Christmas be without a New Year's resolution? Well, hold on to your hats. The Jackson resolution is said to involve a blessed event. My sources have also told me that Michael and Lisa Marie want to have a child next year. Talk about family trees. Imagine a child of pop music mogul Michael Jackson would have aunts like Janet and Latoya Jackson, whose grandmother would be Priscilla Presley and grandfather, well, the king himself, Elvis. And then imagine Michael Jackson pushing a baby carriage. Well, that might not be so far-fetched. I don't know that this is a happy marriage. I don't know that they'll be together for years and years and years, but I think that they will be together long enough to have a child.